In this video, we want to make sure that you understand the words that describe different types of numbers. The first numbers we learn as a child are the counting numbers. The counting numbers are called natural numbers and the examples are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And this goes on and on. The next category is whole numbers. Whole numbers are natural numbers and zero. So it starts from zero, then one, two, three, four, five, six, and keeps going. And the next category is integers. Integers can be neatly displayed on a number line. So if we have a number line here, so as you can see, integers are zero, the positive numbers and the negative numbers. And of course it goes on and on. The next category is called rational numbers. Rational numbers are all these numbers we have discussed so far and the numbers that fall in between, in between these. Say for example, one over two, two over three. If you write two over three in decimal, you will get 0.2666. And this 6666 will go on and on forever. So even this is a rational number because that can be clearly written as two by three. And same way, if it is one by three, it can be written as 0.3333, which will go on and on and on. So these are also rational numbers. Not only that, every number that we have discussed so far, like natural numbers and whole numbers, they are also rational numbers because whole numbers, say for example, two, can be written as two by one in fraction and negative two can also be written as negative two by one. So any number that can be written in fraction is a rational number. To remember this, you can see that it is R-A-T-I-O ratio or fractional, which is P by Q, any number by any number. While we are learning about the rational numbers, it's important that we also understand another set of numbers that are called irrational. When you compare these two numbers, then things will become much more clearer to you. So if you notice, I'm creating a separate rectangle for irrational number because natural number, whole number, integers are not part of irrational number. So let me give the label irrational numbers. Irrational numbers are any number that cannot be written as a fraction. Say, for example, the value of pi, 3.1415926535. These are the 10 digits I remember, but there are trillions of number mathematicians have tracked, but they have yet not found any nth. So any number that cannot be written in fraction are irrational. Okay, so this is what pi. And uh, another number is square root of 2. What is the value of the square root of 2? 1.4142 keeps going and this also has gone up to trillions of number and still there is no end. So this number also is irrational number. As you have seen for the difference, of course, the clear fractions you understand that are rational number, but there is a say for example for 2 by 3, the 0.666 go for, goes forever. And there is no end, but still it is a rational number because the, these digits repeat itself. Any number that repeats itself will be a rational number because you know a pattern. But irrational numbers go on and on. This does not end, end and does not repeat. So if these are the two characteristics, those are irrational. And here it does not end. Of course, this is not ending, but it is repeating. That's how this is a rational number and this is not. Okay, so this is a clear difference between that, uh, between a rational and irrational number. Here, if say for example, you have a number which is 0 0.56, then 7643767643, and it goes on and on and on. So what do you think? This is a rational number or irrational? It is not ending. This satisfies this condition, but does not repeat. This number doesn't satisfy this condition. It repeats itself because as you see, 7643 is repeating itself. So this is rational number, not irrational. All these numbers that we have discussed so far, all this fall in this large category, which is called real numbers. 